Hi everyone, welcome to my cozy cottage. My little pup Journey says hello too. Thank you so much for stopping by. Today I'm going to be starting doing some patriotic decorating. So before I begin doing a couple little vignettes, I wanted to show you a few things I purchased from Amazon. And these were some little flags with stands and these beautiful napkin rings, which I'm absolutely in love with. I'm going to open them up so we can take a closer look at them. So what I liked about these little flags were they had these cute little stands, or you could use them and tuck them in something, but I thought they were really cute. So it came in a pack of 12. And the napkin rings, I think, are just gorgeous. Look at this bow with the little tiny stars. They actually look like a piece of jewelry. And the butterfly. So I'm looking forward to using these in a tablescape, or I may could somehow use them just in regular decorating. We'll see. Okay, so I'm just gonna make a little vignette on this end table to get ready for some patriotic decor for Memorial Day and 4th of July. So I'm placing a red placemat and behind that to the corner, I have this beautiful Statue of Liberty plate that I got last year from Michaels. This is a small end table, so I'm just gonna do a simple vignette with three items. And next I'm gonna add some florals. So this was an arrangement I had made before with just white. And so what I wanna do to make that patriotic, you don't necessarily have to go buy some floral arrangement. I'm gonna add some things to make this a little bit more seasonal and patriotic. So I'm gonna start with adding some blue flowers. So I got these little blue florals from Dollar General. They actually have some cute flowers now. And I'm gonna add them to the middle of this for some height and kind of a little bit of height in the middle. So I'm going to add three of these to the middle. One thing I like to do with my stems of my florals, I try to bend the wire a little bit if you do see them to give a more natural look. So I bent that one there and I'm going to put a little bit of little bit of bend movement into the other one. See I bent this one a little bit to make it look a little more natural. Okay, so that's how that's looking. And now all I'm gonna do to make that a little more patriotic is add a little flag. Okay, so that's just about finished. Now to finish off this vignette, I have the floral arrangement there, the plate, and now I wanna add something to this front space. So for a pop of red color, I decided to add a little bowl of apples. And that finishes off this little vignette. And now I'm going to show you the other end table. Okay, starting this side with a matching red placemat. And for my spring tour, I actually had this cloche set up with my daughter and my son's baby shoe. And I actually liked that, so I'm actually going to leave that. So there they are. Next, I'm going to add a patriotic picture. So I put a plate stand here, and I'm going to put this picture that I have. It says blessed and grateful, a flag and a star. And this actually is from a calendar that I framed. So I thought this would be cute. So that's how that's looking. And in front, I'm just going to add a candle. Okay, so that finishes off that vignette. Okay, so we're moving on to vignette number three. And here is the tray that's on my ottoman, and this is how I had it for Easter. I had this little bike basket with a floral arrangement, a little bunny, and a candle. So let's change this and try to make it look a little more patriotic by adding some red. And for my last vignette, I did a red, white, and blue 
floral arrangement in my little bike basket here. And I put a candle and I just have coasters because I do actually use this tray as a coffee table. So here I just popped in a little bow. There's red roses, some white, and some blueberries. And I made this arrangement in a basket that I already had. So I hope you like this little quick short video of what I'm starting to do for patriotic decorating. Some little simple ideas to add those red, white, and blue colors in your home. And I will be adding more. So I hope you stay tuned for that. And I want to thank you so much for watching. And I hope you have a wonderful day. Bye for now.